I had this idea, right? And I'm going to throw it out there so that, you know, there's a record of it. But I was browsing the Amelion-Dor store, right? I was browsing the Amelion-Dor store as, you, as one does, even though my budget can't probably extend to $70 baseball caps and $100 ashtrays and shit, right? I was browsing Amelion-Dor, seeing, seeing all the amazing stuff they have on their website. I scroll down and they have this great t-shirt, this t-shirt that says Queen's Crest Loafer t-shirt, right? And I was thinking to myself, wow, I had the same idea but instead of having a pair of loafers, like, you know, imagine this is like a tribute t-shirt. So it's a regular crew neck. It's a regular kind of, you know, cotton t-shirt that you know and love. And on the back, they've got a print of a penny loafer, right? And I had this, I had a similar idea that I sketched up on my Photoshop of a tribute tee or like a whatever tee that was a DJ one. So it had a pair of Pioneer CDJs, a Pioneer DJM mixer whatever like a regular setup so the idea behind it would be if you're a vinyl dj you'd have like you know two turntables two technic turntables and maybe a vestac mixer but it would just kind of be like a thing and in the front it would have djing or dj or something in the middle right or just that was that was kind of flip i had in my head and when i saw this i was like oh shit that's the same sort of idea so because i've seen this on this site i'm now going to say this in public just so i have record of it that I'm now going to do a flip of it of the stuff that I already did when I, you know, I kind of had the idea of having the fucking CDJ because I think that would look cool. I could even flip it and without the Pioneer CDJs, maybe flip it and do like the Virgil see-through CDJs, right? Those, those were amazing. I'm actually surprised they never ended up releasing them to public to purchase because they were really fucking cool. That see-through, um, what you call it, design, or is it trans, let's, let's say trans, call it transparent. Uh, transparent um, design that Virgil did for Pioneer. I don't know why these weren't ever made for retail, but they should have been made for retail. These are absolutely incredible. So he made this, as you can see here, right? These CDJs with a DJ and mixer, um, you know, four CDJs especially, and all in this clear casing, kind of reminding you of like the late, 90s early 2000s trend where a lot of electronics were you know came in like clear cases i remember i had a i actually had an n64 controller there was an n64 controller that was see-through do you guys remember that one it was a controller that was um transparent i think there might have even been a fucking console yeah there we go yeah i had one of these so back in the day i had an n64 controller and you could get a transparent controller with it there was a nokia 8210 that also was transparent right do you remember that one 8210 transparent with a transparent case back in the day you could get all of these things that was a big trend back in the day you could have transparent cases that go in your phone and then when somebody calls you the whole thing lights up like a fucking trick christmas tree so i do really like these so i think i'm gonna take the same idea that i've seen amelion door do amazingly well with this queen's crest loafer t-shirt and just apply a cdj on the back of it but then i probably would wouldn't put the dj thing in the front maybe I'd just put a cdj on the back of it and it should be fine but that'd be that might be quite cool even this picture here where they actually where it's all lit up that looks pretty cool i really like that picture there design of it with a look at that that looks amazing isn't it? really fucking nice maybe maybe they didn't release them because they're quite hard to kind of figure out how to use maybe without the but without the logos and stuff because there's no logos on the actual casing there's only the logos on the buttons themselves but if you know how to use a CDJ, you'll know automatically that's Q, that's play. You know that's tracks that, you know, one of them is skip, one of them is next track. You know the slider. It's pretty easy to figure it out, you know, the, what do you call it? The um, automatic beat looping is here. It's pretty easy to figure out if you've used CDJs before, but I think it's so really cool. I really fucking like it. I really do. I really, 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 really do. So we got another thing. Spring, summer 2024, the world's borough, courtesy 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 of a million door this is pretty cool as well by the way and um, it features a lot of london peeps um again a million door i don't really think of it with london right obviously they've got a flagship they've got a store here in a flagship but they have a retail store in london but whenever i think of a million door i mostly think of new york um but i don't really connect it with london at all but the clothes do look really well in situ right in location they do look pretty good i'm not gonna lie um this is a great photo shoot some faces here you'll probably recognize some you probably won't but the clothes look fucking immaculate really well done just a shame the price tag is what it is right it's like american visvim even though people could say visvim is american but yeah everyone looks fucking spectacular wearing the um what you would call it the amelion-dor stuff i love all of it everything looks fucking pucker on the people on there i'm saying pucker because i'm saying english people of course but yeah 
We've even got Qatari Rio. Look at that. Qatari Rio. Qatari Rio is on there. Saudi Rio is on there flexing some of the Emilion door stuff. So pretty decent. I quite like it. I'm not going to lie. It looks really cool. We've got two sets of twins here as well. Oh, no, not just, oh, two sets of twins. My bad. One set of twins and just two black guys. <laughs> oh, that was fucking wild. I went too fast there. Um, yeah, we've got Declan Rice here also. A few other people. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Um, big up the London Massive. Amel Yondo style. Nice to see. Nice to see. Nice. It is what it is. It is what it is.